Good morning, I'm here with Fromm today and we're going to be doing a long layered haircut on Mari today. She is going to lose a little bit of length, but mostly we're going to be focused on bringing up some layers for volume today. Step one, start by identifying the natural parting with the limitless cutting comb. It features a sectioning tooth that makes it easy to create clean lines throughout the hair. Plus it's made with carbon so it's super strong and durable. Step two, then I establish the perimeter by point cutting diagonal sections at the nape. To keep my sections clean, I clip the hair away using gator clips for strong grip. Here's a tip, if your client has very long hair like my model, ask them to stand up for better visibility. Step three, Point cut the perimeter at the desired length. I'm removing a couple of inches. This will create the guideline for how short the layers are going to be. I continue point cutting and working up the head in diagonal forward sections. Step four. For the next section, I take the hair that's in front of the ear and direct it back into the square perimeter. For long layered clients, I prefer to cut the perimeter in fewer sections. Step five. Now that the perimeter is complete, let's start layering. Section out the fringe area into a pie shape. Here's a tip. Use a comb to find where the high point of the head is. This will determine where to start sectioning. My model has a fine hairline with a growth pattern that lays flat to her head, so I'm combing it out of my section. Work with, not against, their natural texture. Step six. Drop the pie shaped section down and identify where the shortest layer is going to live. Then I cut an upside down V shape into the fringe section, using this length as my guide for the face framing layers. When I'm creating layers, the defy shear helps control my hand and elbow positioning because of its offset handle. Step seven, starting on either the left or right side, slide cut each section from the shortest length to the perimeter length. Continue this technique wrapping around the back of the head. Step eight, Repeat on the opposite side. Starting at the front, take a section of hair from the opposite side of the face frame to establish the guide. Here's the tip. When I switch over to the opposite side, I adjust my hand position to slide on top of the hair. Step nine. So we're gonna stop there with our layering on wet hair and we're gonna blow her out and give her some body and finish up the haircut dry. You can see she's already forming a nice beautiful shape with her front layering. Step 10. Now that the hair is dry, I can assess the haircut and add some personalization. I'm starting with some point cutting to soften up the front layers. Then I'm adding shorter layers throughout the back until I achieve my desired texture. Okay, there you have it guys. We're finished up with our long layered face framing haircut. For more videos like this, check out frompro.com and follow at from Pro and at Emily Anderson Styling on Instagram.